Hey guys, GHD here, back with another video. Today, wow, it's actually been so long since I've said that. <laughs> it feels a bit weird, not gonna lie. Either way, today I'm gonna be doing an account update. I'm sorry in advance if you are waiting for another montage type video with animations and such. This is more of a cop out video because I've had a lot of uni work to get done over the past few weeks and the last Ruppy video took way longer than I was expecting to edit, so uh, it put me behind schedule. Either way, I said I'd do one of these videos whenever I made significant progress in the account itself, whether it be in terms of the base fame, the items I've got, how many characters I got alive, what white bags I didn't have before, and all that kind of cool stuff, including the pet. So I can flex on you guys now. Sound good? Let's go. So I'll start with the characters. So as expected, my good characters have slowly increased in their base fame, with almost five of them now being above 3k fame, though my paladin is no longer with us. Rest in peace. Yeah, I've, I've had a bit of bad luck with my paladins. <clears throat> I may or may not have died on three of them in a row with no other deaths in between. So, <laughs> yeah. There are some familiar faces, though, like basically all of the characters, except for the trickster and the paladin, of course. All of them are 8 8 except for the backups, and I have yet to fill up my remaining character slots. First up is my knight, my favourite character as always. He's had a pretty significant equipment upgrade, sporting the new T14 Dominion armour from the Lost Halls, as well as the Colossus Sword, also from the Lost Halls. He's got a pretty cramped inventory as you can see, but the backpack does remain clear, and this is only because I rarely play on him outside of the Godlands anymore. Next up is the Warrior, 8-8 with another Colossus Sword. Yes, I got pretty lucky and I managed to get another one, but honestly I'm probably more stoked about having the Ancient Stone Sword on him now. Next we have the Huntress, somehow I managed to get this one to 3k base. I think it was because I did like a bunch of Lost Halls on this class as I was making my backup Archer to run the Lost Halls instead, so it gathered a decent amount of fame over that time period. Something that is different is that I managed to get a hold of another 1000 shot bow during the Encore event, so I could not be happy with the set at the moment. It would be nice to get the Ghost Ship White though. Now onto the Priest. So my Priests over the years have sported pretty similar sets each time slightly improving, so this is the newest iteration of my 2k plus based priests. It's the first one to actually successfully hit 3k. I was pretty close at one point, but then I got wrecked pretty hard in the shadows. Never fully recovered from that trauma, well, until now I guess, and guess what? I got a gemstone! I finally managed to get all three of the shadows whites, thank god! Now I can stop doing them. I also managed to get the tier 14 robe. Wait, what's it? Wait, what's that called again? I don't even, I'm gonna have to search that up. The robe of the star mother. Other than that, that nothing else has changed, obviously. Then onto the class with my favorite set, the archer. So as I've teased before, this will be the next vibes character and I'm slowly gathering footage. <laughs> will be the next vibes character and I'm slowly gathering footage for that. The video would have dropped sooner, but that was right before I decided to do the daily Ruppy uploads, hence why that kind of got shelved for a little bit, but don't worry, that is still coming. Obviously, nothing else has changed other than the rim, 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 I, how the hell do you pronounce that, okay? I don't know. That thing. Either way, I got one, and it was actually the first Lost Hall specific item I got, so it'll have a special place in my memory. So this is my new paladin, people have been asking what happened to my indomitable sword, crown and such. I've still got them, I just had them in the vault for a while, but they're now equipped once again. Then I've got my trickster, though I still don't like the class that much, I'm pretty happy that I managed to get the brain of the golem, as well as the prism of dancing swords, because I've never actually had that one before, however hard that is to believe. I just never got one, I guess, so Month of the Mad God was just really kind to me in terms of prism drops. Next is the ninja. Yeah, yeah, nothing's changed with him. I, I don't even know if the base fame's gone up. Then we have the wizard, a nifty little class that I do thoroughly enjoy playing, but I, I don't think anything's changed since the last episode. Now onto my oldest character. I think, it, I think I say that pretty much every episode. Hey, well, it's in its fourth year now, something crazy like that, and he got a pretty significant upgrade, that being the ritual. I can't say that word. I, it's not working. I've done this damn sentence a million times, and I can't freaking say ritual. God. Which at first doesn't look that special until you see the whiz, and then you have a heart attack. With this robe, it cranks the scepter's damage to even higher levels than ever before, which I will more than likely do a little montage of sometime in the future, and obviously the fame hasn't changed at all, since I don't really play the character anymore. Now, my rogue hadn't actually changed at all since last time until last night, where I got a Decker Ring in a Void, so I no longer have any UBHPs on my characters. 
in case that was slightly triggering any of you for a while, so uh, sorry. Next is the Necro, which is now a storage space because I don't use the class. I'd imagine if I got the new ST Skull, I'd be more inclined to play, but as of right now, that has not happened. So yeah, to wrap things up and to save a bit of time, my Assassin and Mystic haven't changed at all. So uh, that's that, let's go on to the Vault. All right, so we're gonna quickly whiz through the Vaults. I've got my collectibles, small collectibles, uh, some ST stuff, nothing crazy, life, UB rings, some more life. In fact, this entire chest region was filled up with life and mana, but I had to take some out because it was actually clogging up way too much space. So that's why that is like that. I've got my UB ring that I just had on my Rogue, but I replaced with the Decker yesterday. Over here, I've got my D-Blades, some more D-Blades, some other stuff, some other stuff, some other stuff. Finally got the full Vault of Pyramid rings. Very happy with that. Sea Silks, other stuff. D-Blades and some Morning Stars and a tablet, which I've got spare now because I've got two of them. That's a bit weird. Then i got my Doom Bows and some Morning Stars, Dokus and Solus Robes and all that jazz, uh, Fairy Plates, Sea Silks, just other random stuff and my spare Oreo, Sea Silks. I've got my Ice Tome. I've still got that somehow. Don't know how I do, but I do. And some other props. Then I've got three spare thousand shot bows are you kidding me i managed to get freaking five of them five of them how what what okay that happened in the encore event and i also got the prism of die instability so really happy with that then i've got the coral silk armor got my plane walkers just some random overflowing stuff some more eps then i got my mark regions i store my marks in here clogs up way too much space i'm probably just gonna drop them all because i don't really do the chest that much just some overflowing rings and such. That's that side. Then I've got my tops, or the top side, or the non-UT side. So g sorks don't use these at all. Probably should just give these away. Then I've got abilities and some weapons. My A-crops, my cosmics, my acclaims, my those. <laughs> then I've got some more tops and some Star of the Rising Sun. Then I've got my more tops. I, I keep saying more tops, but it's tops, basically. Some more there. Some more there, some more there. These are like overflowing ones. Then I've got my Hydras. Then I've got my Tomb, Ice Tomb Rings, pretty cool. And then I've got a Behemoth Armor and some other ST and just spare stuff. Some skins. Then I've got my Feeding Hobo stuff. Then I've got some random stuff like Effusions. Uh, these were on my Paladin, but the Paladin has a, like a full inventory anyway. So I was just like, eh, I'll keep them in here. And then I've somehow still got damn tokens because I never got to 10 moss tokens before they stopped them from working. I've got a tomb ring and a dead water dox key. Then I've just got old tops and stuff and some abilities for feeding hobos. So that's pretty much that. That is the account so far. I'm going to quickly show you the pet yard because I don't know why I'm going to show you the pet yard, but we're going to do it anyway. So pet is now double 100 level 89, slowly on its way to 90. Pretty damn keen for that. Then I got my vanity jelly. Then I've got my Vanity Shroom, which I hate and I want to remove, but I, I'm too pussy to do that because it's divine. Then I've got a Jayco pet, which is an uncommon. And then I've got my Gummy Bear, which is rare. And those ones are for guides and stuff in case I want to remove the divine pet to give it a more general kind of audience, if that makes sense. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'm not actually sure if it's going to be quick, but I hope it is anyway. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you.